This one page website made me $80,000 in three weeks. And here is the proof. So in this video, I want to teach you exactly how you can build your own website just like this one that's going to convert like crazy and make any product launch a smashing success. These one page websites are called landing pages and they are probably the most important skill to learn as an entrepreneur full stop. Why? Well, because if someone doesn't read this one page website, they definitely will not be using your product. And so even if you build the best product in the world, if you don't have a great landing page, no one's going to buy. And the difference between an okay and a great landing page can mean double the number of eyeballs and the number of conversion. That pretty much means that you can double your business overnight if you know how to learn this skill. It literally is the ability to sell online. And if you master this skill, you can pretty much sell anything online. But because there's such a fundamental misunderstanding of what these are and what they are for, I wanted to start out with the basics. So what's a landing page and why is it different from a website? Well, first of all, you'd probably be surprised to know that most online selling actually doesn't happen from the website. It happens from one of these landing pages. You clicked on an ad, it brought you to a landing page, it brought you to a checkout and you paid and bought something. Or you found out about an event, you landed on the landing page, you signed up for that event, you attended the event and they had an offer which was also shown on a landing page that allowed you to click and buy the product at a discounted rate. Newsletter, landing page, sale. You see, most people think that websites are selling tools. They are not, landing pages are. Because landing pages have one and one goal only, to get visitors to take an action. And so how do they do that? Well, there are four main steps. The first one is to stop you. That's right, to actually grab your attention. The next thing is to get you to engage with it, meaning you're actually reading what's on this landing page. The third one is to convince you, and the fourth one is to take one action. And if you've built your landing page right, you're only getting them to take one action. The action could be to buy, or to add to cart, or to book a call, or to schedule a demo. The formula I'm about to teach you works for every single product, physical, digital, services, everything pretty much. And the reason why it's so important is that if it's done right, you're converting someone that's completely cold into a buyer ready lead. And no, you don't have to be a master manipulator. Let's jump into the process. You see, there are three key principles that if you get right, you will turn this random landing page into a high converting sales machine. The first one is the buyer persona. So let's just call it buyer. This is gonna be the specific individual that we actually are tailoring this entire landing page around. And if you tell me there are more than one types of customers, great, build one landing page for each one of those. Because if this landing page is targeting everyone, no one's gonna feel concerned and you will lose. The second key here is going to be the pain point, right? So what is the pain that the customer is suffering from? We're gonna be using that within the actual landing page so that our messaging hits home and we can connect with this individual. And if there's not some kind of pain going on, it's probably gonna be quite difficult to convince that person to buy something. And the final point is the USP, Unique Selling Proposition. So this is basically your offer. How is the service, the product, or whatever it is that you're selling different and unique from other solutions out there? And right here, my friends, if you target this area right here, you will be in a great place to create actual landing pages that get sales. Okay, plenty of theory for one day. How do you actually build it now? Let me show you. And all I've got to do to get prepared is to have a little coffee, work out for 45 minutes, take a cold plunge, read an Alex Hermosi book, rewatch all of Steve Jobs' best videos, and of course start my carnivore diet. A few moments later. Ah, only two days have gone by and I'm now ready to start working. Let's go. The first thing I'll do is jump into an LLM and build the buyer persona. In my case, I'm going to be using ChatGPT. I'll start with this. You are a marketing strategist and digital entrepreneur with 10 years experience building landing pages. Please create a buyer persona for my landing page. My business runs AI coding boot camps for non-technical entrepreneurs. We teach people how to build their app businesses with AI using platforms like Lovable, Superbase, Stripe, and also how to launch their apps and get first paying customers without any prior experience. And with a simple prompt like that, it's going to pump out a full buyer persona. Here it gives me the aspiring AI powered entrepreneur, Gives me a little overview of these individuals between uh, 30 and 45, excellent. Location is mainly US, Canada, UK, perfect. Mid-career professionals, excellent. And it describes a lot more about these individuals, but if I go a bit further down, it's gonna show the mindset, the goals, the aspirations, motivations, and importantly, the pain points, which is one of the big things that we talked about earlier. And best of all, it's also gonna have the objections and the triggers and buying signals. 
Thank you. Please build a landing page structure with all details. I would like you to write this landing page like a direct response marketer would. What does that actually mean? A direct response marketer is someone who knows how to copyright in a way that gets people to take action. This is a really, really important part of this landing page, making sure that this is written just like a direct response marketer would write it. Why? Well, because copywriting is probably the most important part of any given landing page. And of course we won't ignore the design, but design is definitely secondary to how well it is written. I'm also gonna add, please make sure to highlight the unique selling proposition. And now it's built out a structure. So let's talk about the structure of a landing page next. The first section is called the hero section and basically is the thing that 100% of the people who land on your landing page are gonna get access to. Now, if you mess up this part, my friends, no one will read anything else on your landing page. And the goal, my friends, is to sell the promise. The product is the place that gets us there. The promise is where you actually land. And the most important thing of any landing page is just the headline, that one phrase that you use to capture people's attention and to deliver that promise. Now the hero section will also have a subtitle and also a button, the call to action. And sometimes you'll even have a visual, sometimes you won't. And sometimes you will have social proof if you're there yet. And if you're not, that's also totally fine. The next section, my friends, is the problem section. And it is the place where after we've promised them promised land, we bring them back into the frustrations that they're currently having in their present. It's usually a way to empathize with the problem and to make them feel understood. It's also gonna remind them of the frustrations that they have. And this sets us up very nicely to be able to show that we actually have a solution, which is gonna be the next step, right? It's the solution to the problem. Essentially, the big benefit or the unique selling proposition that your offer has. Now, the next question people usually have is, well, how does it actually work? And that's usually something we're gonna answer in the next section, which is gonna be how it works section. Now here you wanna break down the step-by-step -step process, whether it's a bootcamp and you wanna show them what they're gonna get week by week, or if it's a product, you'll probably guide them through how it actually works as well. It's really to show them how you can get them from this frustrated point into the benefit or the outcome that you're promising in that very first hero section. And now that they understand it, they want proof that it actually works, which is why the next section is usually around testimonials, social proof. Now people sometimes get quite caught up with this section. They're like, I don't yet have customers, what should I do? That's completely okay, not everyone's gonna have this. And sometimes you can use your past credentials on this page, and sometimes you just won't be able to, which is totally fine too. And I would definitely not lie in this section because that's just silly. And then there's usually a couple other sections, such as who is this for, what you'll actually get or what you'll walk away with or what you'll learn in the case of a bootcamp. And then finally, you're probably gonna have a pricing section with the offer that you have to deliver for them, followed by a hefty FAQ. Now let's quickly talk about that because it's very, very important. You see, you're not actually gonna be in the room to answer their questions about this product. So having a good section that talks about the frequently asked questions that they have and really handling those objections within the landing page is one of the most powerful things. And at the end, we'll have a final CTA call to action, basically a button. And on that note, you should only get people to try to do one thing on this landing page. If it's book a call, do that. If it's apply, do that. Just do one thing, please. Okay, so the next step is gonna be for me to jump inside of Lovable because we obviously wanna build out this landing page. So first of all, what's Lovable? It's an AI coding platform that allows you to simply write out a prompt and it's gonna be able to build beautiful websites, but it can also build awesome apps, games, and other things. But first I'm gonna hop back into ChatGPT and I'm gonna tell it this. Please turn this full landing page structure into a complete starter prompt to build this landing page in lovable.dev. I would like the style to be glass morphic and elegant, make it look tech forward. I'll go ahead and do that. And as you can see here, it is writing out the full prompt that I'm then going to feed inside of Lovable for it to build out this landing page. I'm gonna come to the top here and click on copy. Then I'm gonna jump into Lovable. I'm just gonna put this right here and we are going to say, let's go. And now my friends, we can just chill back and relax and we're gonna have a first version of our landing page pumped out in a matter of seconds. And boom, that took about a minute and a half and now I can go and check out what it's built as a first version. As you can see, it is very slick. And I think that this really represents what I'm trying to go for. So let's go ahead and scroll through. It has the problem. Then it really has the uh, full description of what you'll get through the bootcamp, which is great. How it works, excellent. Success stories, excellent. And look at the really crisp style that we have here. Now, 
At this point, I can basically come in and I can start adapting things that I'd like to change. So if I come back inside of here, I can go and do manual changes that will not use any credits. So this, the first thing I would probably do is that. So for example, here, let's say uh, here for the price point, we actually have a different price point. So if I wanted to edit this price point, I just come in, in here and I can change what the text actually says here. So it's actually $1,995 and that is for the standard package. And as you can see, we can make all types of changes. We even have an FAQ here that looks pretty slick as well. And once we're ready and we've kind of adapted some of these, you know, you could completely change entire sections here. So if you're like, you know what, I don't like the layout of this, or maybe some of these, you don't want them to be on cards. Uh, that's completely fine. Make sure to save every time that you make an adaptation because if not, it will not save and you will have wasted your time. But once you're happy with the design look and feel and more importantly, the copywriting on this, we can go ahead and already launch this. It's pretty crazy. Up here at the top, you just click on publish and it will give you the option to just publish to a given account. So I could put publish right here and it will ultimately publish it to this domain. Meaning that now I can copy this link, I can share it with anyone and you can actually check out this landing page in real time. Really cool and very beautiful uh, for the amount of time that it took. And this is really an awesome way for you to sell pretty much anything online. It's just creating really beautiful landing pages and, um, and then providing an offer behind them. Now, of course, a lot of you wanna actually attach this to custom domains. So you could just come right down here, again, publish custom domains, and you can choose to purchase the new domain right here, actually directly through Lovable, or well, actually a partner of Lovable, and that will make it very, very easy. If not, you could just connect an external domain. So if you have it on GoDaddy, or if you have it on Namecheap, you could easily bring in that at any time. Awesome, so now we've built it, and I probably wanna have a form behind this. So when people click on apply to next cohort, it would basically bring me to another page. So here, the easiest way is just to connect a form builder and to just be like, hey, can you direct people towards this URL when they click on apply now, right? So you could go inside of a form builder, something like fill out, and there are many others out there like tally, build your form, and then just feed the form link right here on the left hand side and have it added behind each one of these buttons so that it opens up a new tab and you can easily access that application. Now, because you cannot manage what you can't measure and we want to continually improve this landing page, we want to see what happens when people actually land on it. Where are they clicking? What are they doing? So how can we actually do that? Well, this, my friends, is a platform called Clarity and is probably the only Microsoft product that I love at the moment, but it basically allows you to understand exactly what your customers are doing when they come on your landing page and why. So we can improve it over time and increase the conversion of this landing page, right? Because remember, if we're able to double the number of people who scroll through and click on your call to action, we can double your business. Now, the setup here is relatively easy. You basically just create an account. It's completely free. And once you're inside, it's going to ask you to add a link. Now, when you log into the platform, I already have an account here, but usually it's going to guide you to actually set up your account. Now, to do that, what we need is a little code snippet. You don't need to be a coder. Don't worry. You come here inside of setup and it's basically going to say, hey, grab this code snippet here and you're basically going to be able to install it inside your website. So get tracking code and click on this install manually. You copy this and now we can come inside of Lovable here and say, could you please add this code to the header of this landing page? And then I'm just going to dump the code and we're gonna have it add it automatically to this landing page. As you can see, it's identified that this comes from Microsoft Clarity tracking script. And now it says it's been added. So we're finally gonna to wanna to come here and click on update, which is going to publish it again. And then when you come to your dashboard, you can see all of the information you can specifically segment it by the landing page that you're looking to actually track. So this is the AI coding bootcamp. I can click on that. And now I see that 1,700 people landed on this page. But more importantly, up here at the top, we can see the recordings. So here you'll be able to see what individuals did when they came on your landing page. So let's check out one or two here. This person obviously checked it out on a mobile device and they're kind of scrolling through. You can see where they click. You can see what they do. And, um, it also tells you what country they're connecting from. This is from the US, but sometimes it could be from other countries as well. India, for example, is one of them here, Australia, Czech Republic. And so this gives you a good idea. But if you click on heat maps right here at the top, you can also see what people have done over time. So where are people actually clicking? I can see my number one click is apply here, 
which is great. That's exactly what I'm going for. I also see a lot of people are trying to click on and see more about We Are No Code, which probably means that, hey, I can optimize that. We can see if people are rage clicking. Um, some people think that this here is a button, which means that I could probably adapt that to uh, change it to exactly what it is that I want it to actually be. People are clicking on the testimonial here, which is great. Uh, more people applying. I love it. So basically, this is how you're going to be able to track, understand what's happening on this landing page to improve it over time and increase conversion. And there are really two important metrics early on. How many people land on the page and how many people take the action that you want them to take. Anything stopping them from taking that action is something that you can improve on your landing page. And so the art of building highly performing landing pages is the ability to communicate your message in a succinct way, in a way that hits home with your customers. And now that you know how to build your own landing page, do it. But if you're not actually interested in building a landing page, you really want to be building an app, then I highly recommend you check out this video because I'm going to teach you every step to do that, leveraging the tools we've just looked at right now. And if you did, please subscribe. Let's go.